Hello, my name is Peter Thomas and today we're going to do a little demo of IK and FK blending in Lightwave 8. Now what I've done, I've lined up an object with some skeletons in it and I've converted them to bones. Now, as you see, I'll just turn the auto key off and this is just a straight IK, FK rig. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to clone that arm. And we're going to rename these, amazingly enough, put an IK on the end so we know that this is going to be our IK chain. Naming is so important in live, please name it being right, oh she'll just be in a world of pain. And we'll give it a different colour too so we know what's what. Now we need to set up a couple of nulls, and we'll call this IK target. Now the quickest way I know to set up an IK target is parent it to turn parenting place off, parent to the um, hand, turn parenting place back on, parent it to the body, or whatever you need to be parented to. And there we go, it's in perfect position. Now we'll also make another now and we'll call it an FK IK switch. And this is just gonna be sitting there, doesn't matter where it is, we're gonna use it, we're gonna attach a slider to it at the end and um, set it up that way. Okay, now motion options for our hand bone. We're going to target it and make it a goal object. The IK target null. Um, now we'll move down to the lower, and you can see the heading needs to be controlled by IK. And for the upper, we need the heading and the pitch to be controlled by IK. And that's it. Basically, what we're going to do now is turn auto key on. It's starting to rain here. So I hear that in the background, you know, it's raining. And what we've done here, we also what we have to do is we'll frame zero, turn the bone activity off on all those IK bones. Now we've got one motion over here with the IK, and at frame 20, we'll also lay down a motion with the FK arm. there we go we've got two motions we need to mix between both of them so we do this we'll bring our IK switch down we'll select our FK arm and we'll add a motion modifier to it we'll uh, orient a simple orientation constraint will work for this one we'll constrain it. it's just con it's constrained to itself at the moment so we want to constrain it to the IK arm so we switch all these over to IK um, and we'll add weight to all of them too. As you see there, then we go to the modifiers and we'll add a channel follower and we'll follow the switch we just made and we'll follow the Y position of that switch. Copy it back to where it was, yep, and paste. Now we've pasted all those, all those plugins to all those channels and then we don't have to worry about that again too much. Now we copy that plug in and we go to the lower and we paste it. So this time we, we don't want to follow the um, up, we want to follow the lower arm. So we change that all across. That works. Same thing for the hand except we won't paste, we won't um, follow that IK okay, hand, we'll follow the target because that hand's already following the target, so we might as well follow the target straight off. And there we are, now the hand's moving to the IK position, and we want to have control to bring it back to the FK position. So what we do, we go to our, our switcher that we made just before, we'll add a slider to it, and we'll control the Y position of that slider, and we'll say minus one, zero and we'll call it FK. Done, done. Move that slider into, into a decent position. And now frame 20 we're on on our IK position. Now we'll slide it back and we're in our FK position at frame 30. So there's FK, 
there's IK and there's FK. Now when we're in FK, when we're in FK we can do anything we need to. When it comes to motion, controlling the motion of that. And also we can key this and over time we can come back to that IK position. Like so. So we've got an animation now where we're mixing between IK and FK. Um, that's pretty much all you have to do. You can get it complicated and add more bones to this system, but this is the basics of mixing IK and FK with a slider. I hope this helped you out. If you need any help, email me. I'm glad to give you a hand. See you later.